Hey you guys, I'm back with another illustrated video. Yes, it has been quite a while that I've posted something. I know, shame on me, shame on me. But I'm back with another illustrated video. Now, as you might have seen the title, this very interesting title, I will be talking about why your art does not suck. Exactly. Now, I know there are a lot of artists out there that might say, hey, listen, I know you're not talking about me, right? Because I'm pretty content about the things that I'm doing. I understand that. Much respect to you. And I also understand that there are certain artists that, hey, wait a minute. Are you just making a jab at me? No, not really. I just want to take the pressure of something that a lot of artists are actually dealing with, but not really talk about or share about on you know the social media or on other blogs or platforms so I decided to take my channel and to take this platform as a way to discuss it and you know just to take the lid off so that the pressure will just get off it and we have some more room to breathe on this matter Now, you might be wondering what it is that I'm making while I'm talking about this subject. Now, I haven't worked with watercolor for quite a while, but it is something that I've really enjoyed. It is a, it is a skill that I've learned to do for the last couple of maybe six to five months. And for me, I actually was in the same position as the subtitle or the title of this video, and that is this art just sucks. I'm not good at it. I will not be good at it. I just cannot do it. It just sucks. So it definitely refers back to the title that I want and the subject that I want to discuss in this video. And the way that I got through that whole process is just to keep going. Just keep going with whatever it is that you are doing when it concerns the art. If you're just starting, and drawing or you're just starting painting or maybe you're just a seasoned painter and you're now in this jam of not being able to create the things that you want to create just continue the things that you are doing and I will tell you why Now, when it comes to any process that we are starting with, whether it's maybe learning a new skill, learning a language, um, starting a new journey, uh, whatever it is, you can fill it in for yourself. We have the end results in our heads. We step into a journey with the end result in, the, in our heads and hoping that we can get there as soon as possible as fast as possible, as well as possible, as fit as possible, as skilled as possible. So looking at myself being the, you know, in this, in this uh, new journey that I went into as an artist um, and requiring also other skills for myself that I wanted to work with such as watercolor and, you know, pastel pencils and um, uh, other things, other mediums. It was quite challenging for me to get into that in, in, in that journey because I already knew for myself that I was good at drawing just with color pencils and I was able to pick up working with markers also pretty fast so for me to work with watercolor was like ah, that's easy peasy I can do that but starting that process was actually a pain in the big butt because I realized that this was something that really, really, really had um, had me in a jam. Actually, it took a lot of effort. It took a lot of patience. It took a lot of consistency. It took a lot of time. 
And there was something that I actually in the beginning really didn't dealt with. Um, even after picking up my, my, my passion, you know, doing the drawings and everything, after a long period of time, um, I wasn't really accustomed to having so much problems with, you know, starting this new journey with watercolor. So it was quite interesting for me to be in that position and to feel wait wait a minute this is actually not good enough it, it really sucks I, I suck at this how, how is that possible I'm, I mean I can draw so I should be able to do this as well now I have to be honest I was kind of led by my ego. <laughs> what I mean by that is that if you already have that fulfilling, that content feeling of being good at something and you switch to something that you have to learn all over again, it kind of, you know, does something to your ego. Um, but I'm very aware, I'm very, very aware of the fact that the ego is not leading into this. The fact that I started this whole journey for myself to be an illustrative artist <clears throat> and just to be an illustrative artist is to come closer to who I am and to the things that I know I came to do here on this planet. So if that meant that I have to acquire a new skill, a new way of thinking, a new approach, then that is just something that I had to do, it's something that I had to be open for. and actually very grateful for for that contrast to see that there are there are there are areas where I still need to work on for myself that there are areas that I still have to you know discover and I would love to discover so that contrast actually gave me a lot more gratitude about the fact that you know I'm not skillful at everything but I can become skillful with time so I decided to just get into the process of learning something new. Now that doesn't mean that I am at the level where I want to be. I'm not gonna put that pressure on myself to say, well, it's not good enough, it's still awful, it still sucks. No, I'm not gonna put that pressure on myself. What I am going to do is take that pressure off and give myself time and breathing space to say, well, you know what? With every painting, I'm going to look at it and just look at things that I'm really content with. You know, some one time I'm, I'm, I'm content with the, the color that I see. Another time I'm very content by the sketch that I made. Another time I'm really content by the outcome that it has, the vibrancy. So in that way, I start to learn to pick up on the things that I'm already content with and what I want more of instead of breaking down something into a very negative space and eventually numbing myself and stopping myself of creating other things. So this is actually in a very short nutshell the process which I had to go through when it came to this mindset of having to tell myself, of telling myself, oh I suck at my artwork or my artwork sucks. It's not that your artwork sucks, it's just that you are in a moment of uh, learning something new. of, of your body actually come becoming accustomed to something that you normally wouldn't do or you know making the steps to bring that vision into fruition nobody knows how long that's going to take nobody knows how long how many skills you need to acquire but as long as you just 
keep into that process, you will find points and you will find milestones and create milestones for yourself that will give you the gratitude of the, of the things that you are actually really grateful for. And that's the fact that you're an artist. You're able to express yourself through medium of, of, of using pencils, of using paintings, um, of using watercolor or maybe digital art. I don't know. Just fill in the blank wherever you're grateful for. You know, that should be something that you're grateful for. Um, it gives a certain insight that, that the world also needs. So for me, that has been a great way for myself just to um, learn to be cool with it. You know, just to learn to be, you know, to be easy with it, with the whole process. So I'm coming to the end of this video. As usual, you can send me an email or you can follow me on the social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook. But I definitely want to have you as a subscriber to this channel. So press that button, subscribe to this channel and you will always be updated on new videos that, will, that I will be having. If you have something to say or you have something to share, you can also put that in the comments below under this video. And of course, like any other time, I will see you soon with another illustrative video. And for now, have fun, have a nice day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.